All right, well, it's hot and humid out there right now, but that is all in preparation for some storms that we're tracking to potentially impact us as we head towards this afternoon. So I want to mention what we could be seeing with some of these storms, particularly damaging wind. I think that's our greatest risk, our greatest threat. We could be seeing gusts up to 60 miles per hour, so that's possible, and that would be enough maybe to create some isolated power outages as well as maybe a couple down tree limbs. Lightning, of course, that's another threat, and then hail. We could see some hail with the storm tornado not as much a concern which is good news but we'll be keeping you posted of course because we have been uh, enhanced actually we've been upgraded to more of that straight uh, actually in that slight risk category so you can actually see about half of it now I'm saying anywhere along uh, west of I-84 or north or actually west of uh, I-91 as well so everywhere else still in that marginal risk though so we still could see some of those strong to severe storms but as they pass through we're expecting them to possibly fizzle a little bit uh, so we'll be keeping you posted, of course, on that. But our early warning pinpoint Doppler right now, not seeing anything out there. So skies are blue. It's still a really nice day out there uh, once again, but very hot and humid. Those dew points are on the rise. So those dew points are feeling sticky, muggy, even oppressive in some areas. Once again, we're tracking storms this afternoon and this evening. I think some of these storms won't start until 5 and 6 o'clock tonight and then sunny for tomorrow after a front passes through. So let's track this on our early warning weather future cast. Yes, yeah, so you can see that rain, those storms to the northwest of us. This moves in uh, as mentioned, maybe 5, 6 o'clock p.m. tonight. And you can actually see that line too. So we'll be keeping you posted uh, of course on the air too here at WFSB uh, during our early evening shows, but then you can actually see that continuing maybe until 9, 10 o'clock tonight. And once again as these storms push through too, uh, we could be seeing some of those impacts I mentioned. And not everybody might see these impacts as well. So once again, that western portion of our state, that northwest corner, that's where we're expecting the greatest impact. Impact. Now into tomorrow, sunshine will be bright, completely different story. It's going to be hot once again tomorrow, though. Those highs inland are expected to get into the 90s once again. And then for Thursday, we're tracking another batch of showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms uh, as well in the afternoon and the evening. So we'll keep you posted on that. Here's a live look at New Haven, though, right now. Some more clouds pushing in, 81 degrees. Those temperatures are getting steamy. So 87 in Windsor Locks, 83 in Meriden, 78 in Groton, and 81 in New Haven. Dew points are getting also oppressive almost you can see on that borderline in New Haven 69 degrees 67 in Norwich those winds are breezy coming in from the southwest so that is ushering in some of that milder air so once again we could be seeing some of those gusts potentially damaging as we head towards tonight so 89 degrees is our high for today 90 for tomorrow and then Thursday we get back into the 80s we've got some more comfortable conditions for Friday Saturday both days look pretty good we are tracking the potential for some more rain on Sunday that huge Humidity is going to jump back back in and temperatures in the upper 80s, the low 90s for Monday. So definitely a very summertime July like feel. So we'll be keeping you posted. Kara. All right.